हरि ओम नमो नमः काभिरामं रणरंग धीरं राजीव नेत्रं रघुवंशनाथं कारुण्यरूपं करुणाकरंतं श्रीरामचंद्रं मनसा स्मरा करे राम रसम रसने बरे राम रसम ऐ पूरी कृत तप्त पातक संसर्गम पूरित नाना विध फलवर्गम जनन मरण भय शोक विदूरम सकल शास्त्र निगमागम सारम राम रसम अस्याम त्रिदिवसीयाम संगोष्ठ्याम पिबंत पायंत पिपीशवश्च अयम इदम राम रसम ऐ सुरद रागिण रायणाक्ता अत्र श्री प्रभु रामचंद्रम आहये भक्त शिरोमणि श्री हनुमी अत्र आहये भाव चेरलत आदिशंकर निलय मेरनाकुम केरलत आगताया मम सर्वे हादा शुभाशंसा तवधान शृणुत अपौरषेयद वाय रायण विमेन कंपोजर्स देयर पर्स्पेक्टिव अपौरषेय नो पुरुष एंड आफ्टर टेलिंग दैट आफ्टर द वाग मंदा किनी ऑफ विनय आई एम लिटिल इंटिमिडेटेड सो I want to club it. I mean, I am dealing with the text, Mola Ramayana, because I am in the Telugu land, and because I come from Maharashtra, the women's folk songs from Maharashtra, and I want to sandwich these. You know, I mean, two texts I am dealing with. One is the Kritivas Ramayana, Bangla Ramayana, or only briefly, and Mola Ramayana in detail. But I want to club it into the living traditions. without text as nagaraji was telling yesterday without text let me start with a uh, abhanga abija mantra of tukoba sant tukoba rai sant shreshth tukaram his uh, shishya bahina bai so i start with the uh, abhanga abija mantra of ram she is illiterate bahina bai is illiterate totally but she sang it and the mantra goes like this rakarasi dije kana kana is the dirgha matra of a okay ra is a dirgha is kana okay rakarasi dije kana it becomes ra vyanjanane uchcharana you pronounce it with a anunasika vyanjana that becomes ram that is the bija mantra of ram ramaya namaha that bija mantra will develop now okay so ram then mane uh, mantra bija yukta je ka shankara che ukta it is all always well known you know shankara bhagwan told this ramayana to parvati mata and therefore even that ram rameti rameti keno paaye na laguna etc so mane mantra bija yukta je ka shankara che ukta pudhe kana rakarane one more with kana that becomes ra then uh, तयावरी मकारासी देई काना उच्चारासी इट बिकम्स मा ओके रामा देन यला देवनी स्वर य इज अ व्यंजन यू गिव अ स्वर टू दैट इट बिकम्स य फुल नॉट हलंत सो दैट बिकम्स य मग करी उच्चारण सो राम रामाय एंड हाउ ब्यूटिफुली शी सेज द नम एट द एंड शी सेज मन उफराटे अंति साही अक्षरे विश्रांति बहेणी मणे न संगता मंत्र संगीतला आता एंड मन उफराटे इफ यू डू द उफराट दैट इज द विपरीत ऑफ मन इट बिकम्स नम एंड देन देर इज विश्रांति देर इज अ विसर्ग एंड देर फॉर इट मीन्स राम रा मा य न महा अनदर थिंग इज देर इज अ हिडन मेसेज इन दैट you have to do your mind the opposite way what does it mean mane eva manushyanam karanam bandha moksha yo ho sankalpa vikalpatmakam hi manaha 
सो दैट संकल्प रहितम यदि मन सैद विकल्प रहितम यदि सैद निर्विकार यदि सैद तरी एव रामचरणयो रसम प्राप्त शक्य अर्थ सो दैट इज द वेरी ब्यूटिफुल मेसेज बाय सत बहिणाबाई विथ दैट आई गो टू मोल रायण नाउ विमेन कंपोजर्स एंड पर्स्पेक्टिव आई हेव चोजन मोल एज मै फर्स्ट बुक सो मोल रायण मोल हैपन्स टू बी दिक्सटीन सेंचुरी पोएट ऑफ तेलगुनाडु uh starts this her ramayana she is a potter's girl she is the daughter of uh, uh, kesana setty he is the worshipper of mallikarjuna and she has written total 742 verses in telugu avatarinika it starts with that's an introduction and avatarinika has only 24 verses then balakandam ayodhya kandam till yuddha kandam yuddha kandam in spite of being a woman she describes the yuddha in three parts so yuddha kanda has the highest number of verses uh, and you know but she doesn't have uttara kanda she doesn't have uttara kanda at all can we go to the next so this poetry of maul i am just giving some you know passages here it is so very sanskritized telugu i mean i could read the devanagari scripted Mulla Ramayana in Mumbai University Library, published by Vani Vilas Press, and because it was printed in Devanagari, I could read it. I mean, the Telugu is also in Devanagari. Idi Shri, this is the Kolopan. This is the Kolopan. You know, the Pushpika, uh, the end portion of every kanda. Idi Shri Gauri Shwara Varaprasada Labdha Garu Jangamar Chana Vinoda Nitya Shiva Char Sampanna Sari. जन विनुत कविता चमत्कार कारी केसन सेट्टी तनया केसन सेट्टी तनया शी इज द तनया ऑफ केसन सेट्टी मोल नामधेय विरचितम वैन श्री रामायण महाकाव्यंबु नंदु बालकांडमु सर्वभु नेकाश्वासम सो दिस इज हाउ शी फिनिशेस एवरी कांड राइटिंग इन द तेलुगु शी गिव्स हर इंट्रोडक्शन इन दैट कैन वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट now you see this is the uh, ayodhya kanda the second that balakanda ayodhya kanda so ayodhya kanda is the second one how beautifully she has written it's almost looks like a sanskrit and not telugu to me jala jaksha bhakta vatsala jala jasana vinuta pada jala jat sudha jala rashi bhavya mandir jala jakara charu hausa janaki natha and see the alliteration of jakara the alliteration and so very sanskritized telugu you know you don't find any desya word or a telugu word in that it is all sanskrit language for her so it is jalajaksha jalaj jale jayate iti kamalam so lotus eyed having compassion on the devotees bhakta vatsala one whose lotus feet are praised by the lotus born brahma jalajasana that is brahma vinuta He is praising Pada Jala Jata, one whose lotus feet. Okay, Sudha Jala Rashi Bhavya Mandir, who like a beautiful swan, Jala Jakara Charu Hausa, freely swims in the milky ocean. Sudha Jala Rashi, and who is the Lord of Janaki? Janaki Natha. See, this is the richness of her language. I just want to bring it out to you. how being a potter's daughter a kumbhakarasya tanaya what type of education she might have got i really wonder but the way she has composed this uh, ramayanam is really amazing kandarpa roopa khandita kandarpa virodhi chapa karuna dvipa vandita shubha nama muni sandoha stutya bhuma janaki rama kandarpa roopa har vishnu sahasra nama you can uh remember you know that so kandarpa is badana kandarpa is madana uh, panchabana it is the god of love kandarpa virodhi is who shiva because he burnt kandarpa that is madana to ashes his chapa so the pinaka pani okay so the god of love kandarpa his opponent is shiva and what did rama do khandita kandarpa virodhi chapa the shiva dhanur bhanga just 
by for saying that rama broke the shiva dhanushya she has used so much metaphors so many metaphors in her language he is kandarpa roopa he looks like madana and khandit kandarpa virodhi chap he is karuna dweep karuna paravar vandita shubha nama munisan and he is being you know worshiped by the muni the groups of munis and all janaki rama so very very nicely she has used in the samasta padas of sanskrit this is very difficult even for the sanskritists to break and dissolve the samasas and come to the proper consistent meaning of it another very important thing and a very peculiar thing of molla is she has used so many unknown and unused even in sanskrit language unused metaphors and unused words so to say normally it is stated that kavi magh is a vitpanna kavi and navasarga gate maghe nav shabdo na vidyate if you read nine sargas of shishupalavada the entire sanskrit dictionary he must have been exhausted there is no nav shabd okay that is how it is said but then i couldn't find this word inatanaya inatanaya is very very different word ina means sun from in gatau one who always moving in gatau is the dhatu in that so ina tanaya then uh, kanja hitatmaj kanja hitatmaj what is kanja kanja is a lotus nava kanja lochana kanja yeah so kanja so now basically ina si kanja hitatmaj are uncommon names for sugriva she is using ina tanaya because he is supposedly the son of sun s o n of s u n okay he is the son of sun and there it is derived from a root in to go with a unadi suffix nak that's a grammar ina means sun god who continuously is on a movement and sugriva is said to be the son of sun kanja means that which is born in water kam nama jalam ke jayate iti kanjam okay so that's a lotus friend or a well wisher of lotus is who again the sun when the sun shines when the sun rises the lotus is start blooming right so that is the see all these poetic concepts and uh, uh, making a clever use of all these words and concepts which we have so friend or the well wisher of a lotus is sun god and hit sugriva kanja hitatmaj kanja hita kanjam nama kamalam kanja hita nama surya tasya atmaj tanaya nama sugriva i have never come across kanja hita atmaj and ina tanaya used for sugriva even by valmiki so very uncommon uh, word she is used again see the richness of her language i am i'm so amazed i'll come to some the vyatireka alankara and some atishayokti and upama alankara in molla rama and i'm really moved you know by the the genius of this poetess naga dharudo naga dhanvudo naga bhediyo konta konta nato boran so naga dhara is one who supports the naga the mountain he is the govardhana dhari krishna okay naga dhara then naga dhanva naga dhanva is uh, the name of shiva who has the naga dhanva you know and which which is unshakable shiva dhanushya unshakable right then nagabheda is the name of indra unless you know the vedic uh, narratives that indra is the one who is called purabhid balabhid purandara you know shatru puranam darayita iti sayanacharyana uktam tatra that he nagabhid so in the vedas he is called as purabhid nagabhid etc how could she gather these words and decorate her kavya with that you know it's really really very surprising now this is a very beautiful verse and we say that you know sanskrit poets are they they are boasting of their uh, uh, scholarship their intelligence and uh, in fact we have you know uh, subandhu's vasavadatta gadya kavya who boasts of pratyakshara shlesha every word is list every word has two meanings double meanings now this molla has used the double meaning words 
She says she has compared Dasharatha's uh, Sabha, assembly, to Indra Sabha. Okay? And now, what are the common things which are there, both in Dasharatha Sabha as well as Indra Sabha, using the same word with double meanings? Very interesting, very intelligent. Kavi. Kavi is the planet Shukra. Kavi means planet Shukra. In Indra Sabha, there is Shukra. In Dasharatha Sabha, there is Kavi, the poets. Okay? Then Guru. Guru is Brahaspati, Deva Guru Brahaspati. And here Guru, the elderly people, the teachers, the Acharyas. So, so many Acharyas, including Vasishtha. Then Buddha. Buddha is Mercury. Buddha also means Buddhi Yukta. Buddha Janaha. So, learned people, right? Talented. Learned people, wise people, Mitra, Mitraya Namaha, Pushnaya Namaha, Vishnave Namaha. Mitra is one of the Adityas in the Rugvedic deities, solar deities. Mitra is friends. So in the Sabha, there will be friends as well. Then Bhogi, Bhogi is Shesha, the serpent, and Bhogi will be one who enjoys all the Rai, the empirical wealth. Bhogan, Grinhanti, Svikurvanti, Bunjanti, Te Bhoginaha. And Bhogi also means the Shesha. Okay? So in the Indra Sabha, it is the Shesha. In the Dasharatha Sabha, they are all the Bhogis. Then Dvija, Dvijas are the Brahmanas in the Indra Sabha. There are learned Brahmanas with Indra Sabha. And here in Dasharatha Sabha, there are birds. We just now saw that uh, Dasharatha was friend of Jatayu, Sampati. So there are birds also. I mean, these could be the birds or the vanaras or these could be totemistic people. Maybe, I mean, there is a lot more anthropology and cultural anthropology in that. So Dvija, then Dhivara. Dhivara are the wise people. Dhi, Vara, Dhihi, Yesham. So those who have best of intellect. That is Dhivara, all learned people in Indra Sabha. And here, the common people. Dhivara is a fisherman. Dhivara is a fisherman. Dasharatha Sabha has Dhivaras, has birds, along with the Dvijas and along with the wise people, right? So, so many heterogeneous people, it is really the Janata Darbar of Dasharatha, you know? So, that is the meaning. Uh, now, this is a very uh, fantastic up Upreksha Alankara. Sun sets every evening in the west. Sun rises in the east, sets in the west every evening. But why that sun has to go deep into the ocean? There is an Utpreksha, there is a poetic fancy, fancied by uh, this uh, intelligent woman. She says, uh, the sun, uh, she described the sunset in the Ayodhya Kanda, uh, uh, Ayodhya Kanda 6, this is the verse. I won't read because I'm not good at Telugu. <laughs> but uh, it is said that son got tired walking all alone. Inaha, he is always moving, he is always going, right? Inaha. So he got tired at the end of the day and, uh, and therefore, you know, from east to west and therefore he was sweating all over. He, the sun was sweating all over. He makes us sweat here now, come on. But he was sweating, perspiring all over and he took a plunge in the ocean in the evening to pacify himself, to cool down himself. What an Utpreksha. Utpreksha is Kavi Pravadhokti. It is her imagination which plays this fancy. This is not an Upama, right, for the poeticians. Then Yuddhakanda, again, there is another uh, very beautiful why the sun sets and goes into the sun. She says, the sun god couldn't tolerate the agony and arrow, uh, sorrow when Rama, Lakshmana, that is his grandsons. Why his grandsons? It is Solar Dynasty, Ikshvaku, Prabhava, Musha. So when his grandsons were overpowered by the Brahmastra of Indrajit, he could not stand that. And therefore, he sank into the Western Ocean. You know, sometimes we can't help our own progeny. But then what do we do? We just retire from there. So son also retired from there, very beautifully. Next, please. So this is, this is the most loved one in my uh, Molla Ramayana's uh, 
examples. I have quoted it multiple times, you know. For the Kojagiri Purnima, I quoted this in my friend's group and they loved it so much. The Kojagiri Purnima, the Ashmina Purnima. So this is the full moon, you know. And what is, this is Vyatireka as well as Atishayokti, according to the poetics. Uh, just imagine this comes in the Ayodhya Kanda, 13th verse. Imagines like this, that the milky ocean came to a boiling point because the sun is uh, gloriously shining with Sahasra Rashmi. And therefore the milky ocean, the water comes to boil, the milk comes to boiling point. So this also came to a boiling point. And when, when normally we also see Ragdiya hai, gas par, ubal jata hai, bahar jata hai. And when there is a fan, that will go, get together to form a lump or a ball, you know. So when this is boiling, the milky ocean, there comes a gust of wind and that all that malai, you know, all that cream gets the shape of a ball and it is tossed up in the sky. What a beautiful... And here, you know, I mean, this is Vyatireka Upamanad Upameyam Yada Vyatirichyate Atirichyate Tada Vyatireko Nama Alankara. So very beautiful Sabhavokti, a picturesque description. Sabhavokti is a picturesque description, okay? So this is from the Kishkindha Kanda, 14th verse, Rama shooting arrow through the six, seven Tala Vrikshas, you can see. Uh, so one can visualize Rama standing near the tall Sala tree, as tall as the Sala, but standing near the Sala tree, pulling the bowstring till his ears and concentrating on his target with single pointedness and failing Vali to the ground uh, like Vajra causing the fall of a mountain. So here Indra, Rama is likened with Indra. Indra with his Vajra fails down and puts down the mountains Similarly, Rama, with his one single arrow, he made Vali, a gigantic person, fall down on the ground. Uh, now, this is like uh, Churanika Gadya. In the Gadya, in the Sanskrit, we have, you know, like so many varieties. I am not here to teach you the poetics and the Sahitya Shastra, but there are so many varieties, like Vritta Gandhi Gadya. Sometimes, you know, the Gadya is also so poetic, you enjoy it, you relish it. It is Laya Baddha. Sometimes it is Muktaka. Muktaka, very simple, simple sentences, like Bhasa writes, like Kalidasa writes. And sometimes it is Churnika Shaili. Churnika, that is a very Samastha Pada Vyaprita Shaili, okay? Very big, some uh, compounded words are there. This is the description of Ravana. She doesn't hesitate describing Ravana also in beautiful samasas. Not only Rama, she is not a Pakshapati at all. Okay? She gives equal uh, descri I mean, uh, footage to both Rama and Ravana. Jaya Jaya Kekasi Garbha Samudra Sampurna Sudhakara Jaya Jaya Maya Tanuja Manohara I need not translate. These are very simple words. Jaya Jaya Rakshasakula Sarva Bhauma Jaya Jaya Sagaravarana Lankadhishwara, Jaya Jaya Pakashasana Bhadra. Pakashasana is the name of Indra. Pakashasana Bhadra, Shri Harana Chatura, Shri Harana Lakshmi, Sita Harana Chatura. Jaya Jaya Kutila Vaishwanara Putta, Vaishwanara is Agni. Kutila Vaishwanara Putta Bheda Nirdhama Dhama. Jaya Jaya Samavatisa. Uh, jaya Jaya Samavati Sapadi Sapad Vichadaka Jaya Jaya Danuja Vallabha Halakalola Jaya Jaya Pavamana Samhara Jaya Jaya Yakshanayaka Duruvara Garvapaharaka Just go on reading. This is such a beautiful Samastapada, you know. I won't read the entire thing. It is Yuddhakanda when she is describing Ravana. Now the honors of uh, Mola. Molla, so many honors, uh, Andhra Pradesh government erected her statue in Hyderabad along with few other great Telugu personalities. There was a movie, Molla, a fictional account of her life story has been written by Inturi Venkateshwara Rao under the title Kumari, Kumara Molla, published in 1969. And based on this novel, another writer, uh, Satyanarayan Garu, wrote a ballad which became very popular and has been sung all over the Andhra Pradesh. She was used as a symbol of women's advancement somehow. 
and you know this was taken uh, privilege by the women's lib movements <laughs> women's right protest uh, protest began at a statue in hyderabad in 2006 and a movie like tatanai ka mol was made about her uh, with vani shri playing the lead role so this is for you to judge and now this chandravati's ramayana i'm just referring to okay chandravati's ramayana almost 700 verses and the source is the e source uh, 16th century poet again molla was also 16th century she is also 16th century and she dedicated her work to sakhi jana normally you know when people are addressing surudaha budha janaha like that oh listen to my kriti listen to my ramayana here she is specifically addressing to sakhi jana it is centered around sakhi written by a woman meant for the women no hero worship not a divine story but it is sita's perspective okay herself a victim cheated and jilted by her lover jayachandra chandravati herself was you know a cheated person and therefore she could come out with that angle only she she doesn't have much respect for shri rama she looks at rama from sita's point of view who has been rejected who has been repudiated and insulted so to say so describes mandodari and sita as mother daughter i mean this is a typical bengali uh, version <laughs> and uh, neglected mandodari drinks the blood of ascetics you know there is a, there is a long story in jain ramayana also you have it uh, ravana used to kill the rakshasas and uh, deposit their blood in a in a vessel and that vessel was used by uh, uh, by some rishi uh, to to have his uh, milk drops and and ravana you know ayashi ke liye chala jata hai kahin bhi so mandodari in all frustration she wants to end her life and she drinks that because it is very fatal poisonous the blood of the rakshasas and she drinks it but surprisingly she is pregnant and ravana is away so she is she is afraid and therefore she discards that baby that baby is found by janaka jain ramayana also has this version this also has this version now she no sakhi jana every time she would say she no sakhi jana and she says poor ram you have totally lost your mind ram tomar buddhi hoile nash so your buddhi nashta ho gayi hai aapki buddhi to nashta ho gayi sita maiya jaisi pavit pativrata stri ko aapne tyag diya ye kya baat hui so hoile nash okay next then uh, i come to oral tradition of maharashtra this is my most loving point i wanted to end with this there are so many things you know this is the living tradition not a comp- not a textbook on ramayana no single person no single author has written it down but there are so many ovs so many geetas and recently there was uh, uh, one namita vaikar she undertook a project of grand mill grind mill songs project that is jatya varcha ovya you know jatya varcha ovya so grind mill uh, songs uh, project so she has also uh, i mean collected so many of course i saw so many in the collection done by sarojini babar shanta bai shelke tara bhawalkar all women working for the cause of women so these are all in the oral tradition no text one text as such you know different different people reciting this and uh, this is really a paurusheya <laughs> this is women singing it for the women okay and the songs are sung in the folk rituals even now they are sung during the folk rituals agricultural activities plays ballads ballad songs uh, sung while grinding the grains performing various sanskaras like the naming ceremony baby shower and so many other things and ramayana becomes truly sita centric in the mouth of these women okay for a woman child birth is the most important thing happening in her life which she covets for now valmiki has not valmiki has described the birth of all the four brothers but what about kausalya he hasn't taken care of kausalya at all now these women they take care of her and they say even she has some longings dohad kausalyela dhavale dohale 
that is, Dawale is a gramya slang ucharana. Dohale is the Marathi word. Pausalyela Dawale icharito dasharatha. Icharito vicharato dasharatha. Rama aleti potala puravila manoratha. So these are the longings, you know, for baby shower. What do you do? What does that pregnant woman likes to eat, drink, this, that, go outside, and you fulfill all her uh, uh, desires. Now, Kausalya is a caring mother of Rama. Valmiki is silent, but not these women. When, you know, Rama is sleeping in the palna. Aya baya no karunaka galabala. No noise. Aya baya no naka karu galabala. Rama maja atta chanizala. Just now he slept. So these are the feelings, you know. I mean, these women, they must be also caring for their children whenever they have a tree in the forest. Like that. And when he goes to the forest, Rama lighale vanala kausalya mata rade. Omala tujhe charana pahi rutati la khade. Khade? The small stones will prick your lotus feet, you know. I'm so caring for you. I'm so worried about you. And therefore, she later on asks the wind god, Mai cha jiva yeda hata jodito varyala vara pavana devata tauda varkha vanata sambhala maiha ramala. Oh, pavana god, you please protect my Rama. Next. Now, Sita's misfortune. Sita is not born, you know, there is no birth. She just found. And found. Not by Janaka in the songs of women, she is found by the servant of Janaka. Not even by Janaka, servant of Janaka. Who will do the ploughing? Of course, Valmiki says he is ploughing the land for the Yajnashala, okay? But they don't care for Valmiki and the, uh, the elite Sanskriti and all that. They have their own version of finding of Sita. Bara Bailansa Nangara Chalato Vadhyacha Kadila. Gavasali Sita Bai Janaka Raja Cha Gadiala. Gadi servant. Gadi, Rama Gadi. Okay? Gadi is servant. Nangaracha Tashi Sapadali Sita Ticha Jalamachi Kuthahe Katha. She was just found at the tip of the Nangara, the Sita. That's why she was named Sita, the furrow made by the plowshare. Ticha Jalamachi Kuthahe Katha. Are there any stories glorifying her birth? Like Rama was born, like Krishna was born. Where is the story of Sita Mai's birth? And now this, uh, she is Mahatripura Sundari. She is herself Shakti. And therefore, Sita Bai, Shivacha Dhanushya, Sita Bai na Kela Ghoda. She was playing with the Dhanushya as Ghoda Ghoda. Tak, 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 tak. Like small children do with anything. They will just take a stick and do Ghoda Ghoda. Right? So, Shivacha Dhanushya, Sita Bai na Kela Ghoda. Ravana ala pudha, deva ala pudla koda. Now when Ravana doesn't come in Valmiki Ramayana, but in our Ramayana it comes. For the Swayamvara of Sita, Valmiki doesn't bring Ravana there, right? It is the local, the folk Ramayana, which has Ravana coming for the Swayamvara. But when he comes, even the gods got scared. What will happen now? He is such a mighty king. If he lifts that then, then what? Ravana ala pudha, devala padala koda. And uh, when, then she says, Rama manuna Rama, nahi sita bai cha mula cha. You may glorify Rama, 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 like that, you know. Rama, Nam and all. Nahi sita bai cha mula cha. He is not worthy of sita bai. Sita is more powerful than Rama. Because it is sita centric, right? Sita is more. Hirakani sita bai. Hira, Hirakani, she is a Hira, that's a precious stone, you know, diamond, diamond. Hirakani Sita Bai, Rama Halakya Dilasa. You know, he just heard somebody, some dhobi saying something and, you know, he just asked his wife to go away. What is this? Halakya Dilasa. Hirakani Sita Bai. So Sita is superior to Rama. So Sita Bai Mane Jalo Pityacha Pana. When Ravana came forward, everybody got worried. When Rama came forward, you know, she, even Sita was a little apprehensive because he looked so young, so delicate, so tender, right? How will he be able to lift this mighty Dhanushya? 
सीताबाई म्हणे जळो पित्याचा पण वाय डिड माय फादर पुट सच अ व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट क्लॉज यु नो डिफिकल्ट पण जळो पित्याचा पण राम दिसतो लहान कसा उचलिल धनुष्य बाण नो बिकॉज शी हर हार्ड गोज फॉर राम बट इफ राम फेल्स देन सो व्हेरी ह्युमन इज इट नॉट व्हेरी ह्युमन फिलिंग and then uh, women identify with sita's worries and anxiety this is you know these are the women who are working in the open fields working in the op- open farms and uh, construction sites nowadays but in ancient times only the farms yeah farms and other things so uh, they say ganga dari chi payari sita chadhati damayana chhatri dharali ramarayana then they are going to the forest they are climbing the ghat of ram uh, this ganga and sita is tired naturally the delicate princess she is tired so ram raja is holding an umbrella over her can you read between this you have to read i mean we all have to read between these lines what is the dhwani they themselves are tiring they themselves are sweating in the hot sun it is their wishful thinking that their husband would hold an umbrella sometime in their life it's not sita it's their wish they are speaking of so sita bala tina tila kashachi baz there is not even a bed for her not even a khatiya for her tila kashachi baz savale sita bai otherwise you know sita bai is very fair and ram is shamala but in the women's ramayana sita bai looks like them so savale sita bai she is also it this is identifying you know they don't consider her to be different from from, from them so savale sita bai to gote varuni nij and evada vanavas sita bai ekalila vatu nadila bai gharo ghari cha narila why should sita suffer all alone and therefore she has distributed her vanavas amongst all of us that means they are also undergoing the pain and the suffering of vanavasa so their their expression of their sorrow gets you know uh, manifested through such ovids turun dongar disati lal lal sita ga balatin tila lugadya cha pal all how you know the bhatke vimukta jati the the gypsies and the other people how they would be staying and there only to some you know sari ka jhula ban diya hai and that is how they are <coughs> cradling their young ones sita bala tina ghetala asara jhada cha babhalila jhoka sita bai cha tanya cha and the jhoka that this one is also for the babhali that is the babul tree which is a thorny bush it is not a regular tree because on the outskirts of the city where are the shady trees they are on the open there there will be only bori and babhali i have another uh, this thing for that heg evadya vanamandi kon radat ai kaga sitela samajavaya bori babhalya bai kaga bori and babhalya these are the only women who come and share her plight who come and share her sorrow okay next so this is the folk story of the twins this is again a mytho social uh, belief that the twins are not uh, welcome and therefore in the folk tradition in the women's ramayana in the folk songs she did not give birth to lava and kusha it was only lava and once while fetching water for some household purpose she deposited her lava in the care of uh, valmiki and went down went out for the uh, to the river and valmiki was in his penance you know in idhyana she came also after her work she took the child and went into the kitchen and valmiki when he opened the eyes he didn't see the the child and what will sita say she had entrusted that child to me and therefore from the asana he took out a blade of grass the kusha and did the avagrahana and kusha was born so when she came to invite him for lunch she sees another child there you know तो सीता चालली वनवासा कुंकू कपाळी भरू नग राम देखले दुरून आली नेतर भरू नग यु नो वेन दे आर गोईंग टू वनवास एव्हरीबडी इज सो सॉरोफुल द टिअर्स स्टार्ट ट्रिकलिंग डाऊन देअर आईज अँड 
and they lava kusha become lahu and ankusha in their songs it is not lava and kusha ramakundavari valya dhotara chi jodi valya ola that is uh, wet wet dhotar dhoti vesti is there angholi la yei lahu ankusha chi jodi so angholi la on ramakunda at nashik uh, ankusha chi jodi would come now i am ending this uh, here i just want to thank uh, ananda and for that i am remembering one uh, uh, like upanishad i am a student of ved and vedanta so i'll uh, quote one upanishad taitiri everybody knows yato vai mani bhutani jayante yena jatani jivanti and the answer given in taitiri is anandadhi eva khalu imani sarvani bhutani jayante anandena jivanti anande prayanti abhisamvishanti tad vijignyasa sv tad brahma and then i would like to end uh, embedding the names of all these people who are working uh, tirelessly for the uh, fructification of this uh, seminar आनंदो ब्रह्म एष आनंद अनुपम स्नेहाद्र तीपते प्रसाद गृहत कलवृक्ष परमानंदम याचेमहि धन्यवादाः नमः